Okay, welcome back everyone to IVL Autumn League. For today, we will have Wolves vs. Stow 5, the two top Gs. The two top devils, let's say. Let's see, for Survivor side, we have 47, Jelly, Juan, and Mean coming here for this one. And for Hunter side, we will have the next. Uh, Ming just recently joined, but that doesn't mean that Lion has left. Lion is still in the team, but I just think that they want Ming to come out first before Lion. Or even they just want Lion to have rest. You never know. But here, as we can see, this is game two, first half. Now, Do and Wolves have both had a tie for game one, so I'm not really going to record game one. But now, here, as you can see, for game two, Donex has decided to ban Seer and forward for this one and for the survivor side it will be a dream of chaval now then 47 and jelly will be coming out with a mercenary and an acrobat it's the basic it's a basic you know picks for this one to be fair there's nothing more than this you can really say about it but because this is uh but because this is lakeside once i mean we're seeing lakeside a lot we never seen this much lakeside before what the hell is happening with IVL right now because like for Autumn League I don't think I saw that much lakeside now let's see Juan's uh, oh oh a prospect there for for eight seven perhaps we're gonna play game two a little bit more chill for this one and on Dune Exercise side it seems like Postman has been banned to um prevent the cypher rush for the mercy uh let's see for the survivor's last pick though meanwhile patient has also been banned so I'm guessing this looks like a BQ for me, to be fair. It really looks like a BQ for me. Yeah, this really looks like a BQ for me. And last pick will be Juan's Barmaid. Yeah, Juan's Barmaid is... Juan's Barmaid is an opening CS server, so... It is something that you should be really afraid of. But now, let's see. We have Juan and Ming changing. Wolves, Jelly, and 47 changing between themselves. Now, let's see for the next side who... Well, no, the servers are going to choose Persona points right now, so we'll just talk about it a little bit more. It's a Seer forward, Postman, and a Patient ban. It just means Dongshen... I guess Dongshen doesn't want any support or decoding buff for this game. But if Patient is banned, then I'm guessing, like, it, it highly looks like a DQ or a Nyad, right? Because if, if Dongshen wants to run Boileta, then, then there's no way that... Patient will be banned because Boileta can just immediately tree web threads and close the distance between themselves. But if it's like this, then oh wait, there's still one more. There is Clerk, but because 47 decides to get his um uh, uh, not acrobat his prospector out, then that just means that there is more of a chance for 47 to harass, right? Because even if don't even if Donex decides to excitement one of his magnets he still has two other magnets remaining which is why i think wolves decides to come out with a prospector as their third pick but here as we can see the decoding is average support is average and for this one our rescue and our containment is a little bit above average and then on towards donex's side no we still have 30 seconds remaining on this one on the on the on the on the persona picks but yeah, if like since the prospector came out, there's gonna not there's not gonna be a clerk. It's highly unlikely that there's gonna be a clerk because all what 47 has to do is run straight towards the survivor who's about to be downed. So on the next side, if he wants, he can come out with a clerk with excitement, if he wants, or even a clerk with a blink, if you want to like get a hit on prospector and immediately blink him down. But it does seem like Donex is gonna go for the night instead for this one. Uh, perhaps we may see suffocating big bull. Or suffocating shock depending on who's spawning shock because like for because like for this map in general whether you want to suff like suffocating big boat is too hard it's easier to suffocate shock and you know that where they spawn in shock as well so it simply depends on how donex wants to play for this one but if donex brought trump card for this one then he has a spawning cornfield to lock shock down Right, so then like the big ball cipher would be locked if survivor spawns in big ball. But let's see for survivor spawn point right here. It does seem like prospectors in big ball, acrobat is in shock, and barmaid is near middle. Mercenary, oh mercenary is near small ball. Okay, they want to play a little bit of a mind game right there. I see. But here we're gonna see Donex decides to spawn near the hush. We're gonna call. We're gonna call the. Yeah, we're gonna call that the hut since it's near the sea. Broken shock is just gonna be broken shot. Come on, it's not that it's not that close towards the sea. 
But uh, for this map in general, I guess Don X will be suffocating Big Bolt first. It's highly unlikely that he will probably be even chasing after someone in Big Bolt. Because there's no point. Because there's really no point. Now then for our Hunter, we have Don X going Nyad. Survivor, we have Prospect there, Acrobash, Mercenary and Barmite. This is week 1, day 1, match 1, game 2, first half of Volts vs. Do5. Now then, Donex spawning by the hot right now. It seems like 47 has already rotated away from Big Bosh. Uh, is Donex gonna re is not is he really gonna go up? Okay, you know what? He went up and he decided to come back down. And now he knows that no one's here tonight. Has disappeared as well. And then Donex going straight towards Broken Shack right now. Ming is right here. But if Ming decides to rotate in towards the shack, he needs to leave immediately because this is quite an easy place for Donex to suffocate. Now then, the, grasping a fireball right now, jumping out immediately, it doesn't seem like Ming actually brought flywheel for this one. Because they thought, because they, pro they probably did think that um, Donex will be coming out for the clerk instead, so that is a window speed boost on the Acrobash and on the... And on the, um, what's that, Barmaid. Yeah, Barmaid not bring, Barmaid not bring... Oh, very nice, very nice done right there. Barmaid not bring Flywheel is a bit unexpected right there for me. And then getting the... Getting the pallet stone right there. Ming will not be putting down that pallet, but he needs to hold on to another ball though. Just so he can safely rotate towards another area. Jump over the middle! Wow, you had some nerve to do that in, in, in front of Don X. You had some nerve to do that in front of Donex. You had some nerve to do that in front of Donex. Oh no. Ah, oh, they can't rescue anymore. Jelly has to Jelly has to go upstairs or even go like be a little bit near towards the basement right now just so that they can sell Ming. They're not rescuing Ming. There's no way there's there's no chance they're rescuing Ming. If they rescue Ming's and Ming's it's a double down and Donex can aim for more than a tie. Donex can, can actually get a three-man elimination. But here, as you can see, Jelly is already coming in. Tinnitus has already popped, but Jelly probably needs to be a little bit closer, to be fair. A little bit closer towards the basement, but it doesn't seem like Dona X wants... But I guess Dona X knows where Jelly is right now because of the Tinnitus. Uh, if Jelly really wants to go in, I don't think Jelly's going to go in. I think this is just to bait Don X. This is just to bait Don X. He's really not going in. I would not go in myself if I was a survivor. Ah, uh, doing that in front of Don X is not such a good idea. And then with the other two survivors decoding, it does seem like the other two ciphers are going down. Two side, two, three ciphers remaining. Two of them at fifty percent right now. Uh, it seems like Jelly wants to go in. No, Jelly's not going in. No, he's not going in. Thank God he's not going in. Because if he goes in, then it's then it's a definite double down. If he goes in, then it's a definite double down. There's no way that the Merc can actually escape from this ninth basement, to be fair. Now then, if if Donex decides to chase after Prospector right now, Prosty has three magnets. But seems like Tinnitus isn't here no more. 47 has already rotated away and going straight towards... Oh, Tinnitus has popped going straight towards Small Bolt right now. Donex, can you find? He's going the other way. Tanidas has disappeared, but he still decides to wander around, ponder around here a little bit, just to navigate to see where the survivors are. But if the survivor is here, then that's an oof moment. Now then, Jelly is upstairs in Big Bow. The cipher he is at is currently at thirty percent right now. Juan popped his cipher, so Donex knows where Juan is most likely. But Tanidas pops right here, as we can see. Uh, throws out the harpoon and Jelly will will be jumping down here. He can take his time to jump down to be fair. Because like there is an animation for Nyad when she retrieves her harpoon back. So yeah, not really that much of a problem. And all what, Jelly can just take a hit here. He doesn't really have to use an elbow pad. Oh, he decides to use an elbow pad. Never mind. Probably doesn't want to double down on pair rescue so i guess it is what it is i mean he could he doesn't really need to use it in my opinion because if don x really wants to chase after jelly right here then the other two cyphers will be done on time 
And as we can see, Big Wolf Cipher is at 50% as well, 44%. So even if Juan gets chased right here, I mean, Juan finishes Cipher, so, Je so 4A7 can just decode, to be fair. To be fair. So let's see, the size to uh, locate 4A7 instead right now wants to make a really big puddle. But I don't think that actually locked the cipher near Shock though. So um, 4A7 currently has two more magnets remaining. That is a stone right there. Very nicely done for, by 4A7. And Donex is trying to cling on to the wall as much as possible to prevent himself from getting stunned for a long duration of time. Now then here as you can see probably will be able to find a barmaid right now. Barmaid does not have flywheel so this will be a little bit harder for Juan to kite compared to kite endgame to be fair. Because if Juan gets hit right here he can double him back if he wants to. But there's really no points because he can just do that when the cypher will be popped. So what happens then is he gets downed. An immediate hit, pop, drink and then a speed doubling will be drunk as well. If he wants of course. So Blink seems like it's ready. Is it ready? Uh, Blink? Okay. No, no speed on you, sadly. And there was no flywheel as well, so there's really nothing much that Juan can do right there. He did wait. He did wait for Donex. He did wait for Donex. But let's congratulate Do Donex and Wolf for getting the tie right here. Moving on towards second half. Okay, now then moving on to second half, we have Alekas coming out for our hunter. It seems like the first three, no, the first two bands will be Seer and Priestess. Yes, those are my bands. Those are my bands. Now, people still ask me, why do you ban Seer? In why do you ban Seer anymore? I, uh, I'll just show them this. I'll just show them this. Seer is still annoying to deal with, though. I mean, like, okay, I mean, like, it's 15 seconds to 8 seconds, but like, it's still annoying. It's still annoying. Like, good tears in, in high tier, no what, no what they're doing. So, yeah. Now, then, second ban would be patient. Okay. Uh, there's a small problem for Alexis, to be fair. That's Palloon. Palloon is. I mean, like, we saw, saw him with a grey Palloon, but, like. But, like, Alexis doesn't play Palloon anymore because of Flywheel. So I really push Palloon out of the meta really hard, really, really, really hard. But it does seem like Embalmer will be banned for this one. So, uh, Alex going Bonbon again for the second time, perhaps. Because if Embalmer is banned, then that just means there's no Geisha, there's no Mary, right? And there's probably no Violetta as well. Most likely no Violetta. So, who else do we have? We've Sculptor. We've seen Alex play Sculptor. We've Bonbon. Alex Bonbon is really good. Clerk. It does make sense for Clerk to be ban a for Clerk to ban a a what again? A Embalmer. But here, as we can see on the Survivor side, we have above average support, above average rescue, above average kite, but hella below average. Below average. Well, I mean, I think that's like below below average. Extremely below average um, decoding time because of the double rescuer. Uh, it really depends, you see. Because like for... You have spawn point. You can choose spawns right now. Hunter knows where you spawn because it shows. Right? So like all Alex has to do is to go straight towards the survivors. And which is why there's two slow decoders, one fast decoder. Which is why the decoding speed is like below below average. But I don't know who Alex will be playing for this one. I see him play Hermit. But I don't think Hermit is allowed. Hermit is not allowed for IVL Autumn. Maybe for Kawhi it will be, but for IVL Autumn it's not allowed. So... The... I don't know. I really don't know what Alex will be playing for this one. But let's see for the Survivor's team comp. We have Silver Z coming out for those side. Now, I'll just update everyone on this. E uh, Upsy has... I think Upsy's on a break. He hasn't retired, but he's on a break. Right, Alex coming in with a spider. He's on a break because, like, during one of the interviews that I watched, he was like saying, "Oh, we always become second place. It would be really nice to come first place because we try our best." And because they won IVL summer, I think Yihua like had a sense of satisfaction, and then now he just wants to rest. He just wants to rest. But like, he's still commentating like tourney games on Billy Billy, so he's still a player. So he hasn't really retired. I think there's no, there's no like. Oh, news about him retiring to be fair. But now here as we can see, Alex decides to go... Oh wait, my mic is... Oh, my mic is weird. 
Wait a second. I need to. Ah, uh, my mic. My mic's not gonna fall off. So yeah. Now let's see. For the survivor spawn point, we've toy merchant in beach and agrobot near the big rock. One pilot, one window near the gate. Alex decides to spawn in big bush. Oh, this is interesting. I mean, that will probably be the best spawn location for Alex, anyways, because like he can go, he can go directly straight, left or right. And what like the three locations right there, that's definitely going to be one that's a kiter, right? <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, it is all this. And then let's see we have bobo flywheel okay it's a triple flywheel it's a triple flywheel no they thought they thought the pollen was coming it's a triple flywheel and it's week one day one match one game two second half of dual fight versus world with alex going trump card detention with blink Now then, let's see, Alex is spawning, oh, right downstairs, which is great, but if he decides to chase after the toy merchant right now, the catapult has already been placed down, so it's going to be a jump and back towards the big bow right now. For toy merchant mains that we know, basically this strategy is loop around big bow and then go back to your, towards your catapult, take it again and fly back towards big bow. But it does seem like that Alex has tricked Yi Hua to vault the window right here. He has 61 treads so he can take his time and find an opening to do three stacks in a row just so then like he can get his first hit on towards the um the, 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 the toy merchant uh that the short stack didn't really land that well it's fly wheel ready fly was ready very nice play with a fly wheel but it does seem like toy merchant can go back towards big boat though catapult is ready and the glider is ready as well now then here as we can see glides immediately just in case the blink comes out very nicely done by alex oh uh, oh he's ready up oh, that's a little bit faster than i thought if alex alex can actually get a hit right here he needs to reach the window Ooh. ah blink down immediately never mind i mean it's still a hit uh, the problem there was Alex, uh, I think he, it was a bit too, f he used his attack too fast, right? Because during the animation right there, he like, Toy Merchant was sitting animation. There was, he, uh, Alex could have, you know, go a little bit closer towards the window and hit right there instead of hitting a bit too early. I think he was panicking a bit right there. But now, let's see, it seems like Mercenary is going to come in right now and three ciphers has been done. This does seem like a tie game. This does seem like a tie game for Alekas. So that's one tr web tread. That's two web treads placed down near the fall point just in case someone actually comes in. So it will alert Alex at least. Now the Voileta, there is one spit. Okay, one spit. Just use the body right now to, to block the way between. Oh, never mind. He wants to rescue immediately. I feel like that would have went over half to be fair. I feel like that would have went over half to be fair. But now wants to get a spit on Mercy. Got the spit on Mercy. Mercenary was not looking back. And it's a double down right here. Ah, that sucks. Now then only one person is decoding. This is a tie game. This is a tie game and up for Alex. This is a tie game now for Alex. There's a really high chance that he can win. Decides to pick up immediately. But it does seem like the forward is a little bit far away right there. Because it's a tree stack Voileta. Then that simply just means that her interactions and her movement speed are all fed up right now. And then Bobo decides to pull quite a long ball right here. I think that's at least a third of his ball. Uh, That wasn't a third of his ball. Sorry. That was not a third of his ball. That was like... I don't know, a quarter, because it didn't really stun for that long. And then Yihua going down immediately right here. Uh, what Alex really has to do here is to land the hit on Bobo. And yeah, because of the moving speed buff there as well, the ball, pulling the ball wouldn't really help her that much. And it's a trouble down on chairs, so... Ah, and one, only one person is decoding the ciphers. Ah, damn, son. Damn, son. Uh, Toy Merchant will be eliminated. And let's see, Bobo will be chaired. Yihua has used self-heal. And Alex knows this as well because there was someone out there decoding. So there's no way that someone will be able to heal the mercenary. Now, what is the problem here? The problem here for Alex is he needs to find the mercy and slug him for a potential win. Right? Because if he allows mercenary to decode, it'll become a tie game. But if he doesn't want a tie, 
if you want to play it more aggressively, you could get a tree man. Because Atari is definitely guaranteed here. There's no point in you sitting around waiting for survivors to come rescue and letting the other survivors decode when you have blink and when you have trump card for the teleport. So here, as we can see, forcing the forcing the mercenary out of Big Ball. Now, ZOG will be found, but ZOG also used the ball to close the distance between himself and the chair. But flywheel, a very nice flywheel, but can immediately hit right there. Bobo is after half. So all what he needs to do here is hit ZYJ. Hit ZYJ. Ooh, didn't get hit on ZYJ and blink Bobo down. And it can be a potential 4K. Because there you have one full cipher remaining. Alex right here is trying to play a little bit more mind game right now. Hits Bobo right there. Oh no. His head. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Bobo peeked his head over the pallet right there and got hit. And a very nice thing there from Alex as well. GG. GG, GG, GG. And then for Alex, all he needs to do really is to pick ZYJ up and look for the mercenary. Problem with Mercy, he can't decode, neither can he kite. He needs to look for items right now. It'll be best if he finds a needle. It'll be best if he finds a needle because like, if he pops the cypher, he's still a one spit detention down. If he doesn't pop the cypher, he is still a one hit detention down. So, yeah, this is quite a problem for Dole 5 right now. Quite a problem for Dole 5 right now. Oh, I guess the only problem, there's really not that much problem. For Alex right now, he can, he can he can definitely get the win right here. He's just looking at the cipher, knows that the cipher was decoded, meaning that mercenary was at the cipher. So, uh, I don't think he's really going to risk it too much, to be fair. Or he's probably gonna wait for ZYJ to use his self heal. He's gonna wait for ZYJ to use his self heal. Mm, what ZYJ is planning to do here is he's trying to crawl as far away from the chair as possible, right? Because he can struggle free, but in exchange, he cannot use his self heal. He'll probably be stuck on the ground for quite a while until Mercenary finds a needle right here to fully heal himself up. So then they can at least get a one man escape, right? But if Alex finds Mercenary right here, Mercy can be slugged. So it depends on when the Acrobat wants to use his self heal. Because when he does use his self heal, he needs to be careful of touching the cipher or not. Because if he does touch the cipher, gets a spit there onto the mercenary. Mercy, this is your second mistake right now. Mercy. Oh no. One. Uh, third spit. Okay, okay. No, the one didn't really do anything. The one didn't do anything. Mercy can be slugged. Mercy can be slugged. And as l once Acrobat touches the cipher, that's an immediate teleport right there for the Voilela. Like so this is a four-man elimination right now for Alex. It's a four-man elimination tempo for Alex right now. Oh no. It seems like ZYJ is hiding behind the big ball right now inside the sea. But Alex is, is trying to look for shaky ciphers. It doesn't seem like any of the ciphers are shaking. But he's also trying to prevent Aquaba from coming in to rescue. But it's... A lot of mind games right now for the both the hunter and the survivors right now. Alex won the 4K as well. I didn't expect I didn't expect this to be more than a high to be honest when the Voilada came out. But I guess there was mistakes made. There was mistakes made. Now then, that is one web thread. See that tonight is tonight comes back up. Probably can see where the acrobat is. Acro. Acro looks for the Acrobat right here as we can see Acro is still crouching but it does seem like the footprint has been found by Alekas and then Acro will be dead that's a I mean he didn't really touch it it was a miss hit right there from Alex's side he has 46 web threads though now on to 15 he can use one more but it does seem like ZYJ will be amazing now then let's congratulate Wolves for winning this round we'll move on to round 3 for you know the next video. Now then, bye-bye.